Hey everybody, Big Mike Mike here, back again playing a game from Jane Game Jolt that was featured in the last couple days, and we're off to a fantastic start, I can't even talk. Uh, this one's called Last Visit to the Shard, and it's made by uh, our good friend Connor Sherlock, who he probably doesn't know we're friends, but we're friends now because I'm playing his game. And he describes this as a minimal, minimalist mood piece, it's easy for me to say, slash walking simulator. And I tell you, I've become a fan of this kind of game. Um, you know, they just kind of take you, drop you into an environment, you walk around and explore, see what you can find. Um, last one that, that I played, uh, you can see a couple of videos ago called This Is Forever had a, a good emotional message to it. Um, and he says that it's going to throw yourself into the mantle of a dying planet. So I don't think we're going to see probably any trees or birds or clouds or anything like that. We're, we're, in, we're in the planet. I don't know how we got here. I don't know if there's any, anybody else here with us or if we're the only ones. I don't know why the planet's dying, but maybe, maybe we'll find out. So let's kind of walk around. I tell you, that looks like a good place to go right there. I tell you, if I'm exploring, I'm going to go up. So I can see as much of whatever there is to see. And I'll tell you right now that this uh, the planet probably doesn't have very strong gravity because we got a hell of a jump to work with here. And we're going to take advantage of that to try to get up as high as we can to look around. This is Connor's fifth game on Game Jolt. And he seems to be pretty focused on this kind of walking simulator. Oh, looks like we've got something over there to the right. So that might be the direction we go. But it seems like he's pretty focused on this kind of, again, he like walking simulator type game. They're all, f yep, there's de okay, that's the direction we're going. There's definitely something over there. All right. So this is his fifth game. They're all this type of game. I hope this fall doesn't kill us. Can we die? We're about to find out because this is a heck of a drop. Um, but yeah, he's got five of them. They're all this type of game. And, you know, I may end up going to play through all of them. He's actually got a Patreon, which I'll put down in the comments section, um, for creating. It's actually called the Walking Simulator of the Month Club. <laughs> so you can go and, and support him on Patreon. Again, uh, Connor Sherlock. There's something over there. All right, I want to see what these big pillars are. Let's go. Let's go this direction and see what's over here. Do you see that thing over on the right, though? It's got like kind of the, the ring around. I don't know which direction to go. <laughs> but for some, I'll tell you, let's jump again. We're, we can't. Nothing to climb here, but. Oop, there's a light over there. Let's go see what that light is. I'm easily distracted, if you if you can't tell. I'm like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, let's go over there. But we're gonna... I'm gonna take advantage of this jump so I can get a good feel for... Oh, it looks like it's just a... There's a light source over there. So... Oh, there's something... Let's... Oh, there's something over there. All right, so we're gonna go this way first because it looks like there's something pretty close by here. And you can hear the music is very different now as compared to when we started out kind of in that smaller cave area. There's like some red, so there's something over here. Um, but yeah, some nice piano coming in as we wander around and explore. Is it a, it looks like a, a flashing light, maybe? It's kind of flashing off in the distance. Uh, it's a big cage or something. Or several. Looks like there's three of them. What are you? All right, so it's tipped over, and it's in the rock. So that's been there for a while, whatever it is. I don't know how it got in the rock. Oh, it's like a 
It's like a bird in the cage. But is it a bird? It looks more like a, a jewel or a gem or something. I don't know if there's any way I can, I can jump up there to the door. Can't really do anything with it though. But yeah, I don't think that's a real bird. Looks like it's you know carved out of a ruby or something like that, which would make sense because if this stuff has been here long enough to get embedded in the rock, that bird must have been around for a while too. All right, so we want to. I want to go back to find. Do you remember where those pillars and stuff were? It looks like there's a bunch all over up here. We're just going to go this direction now. So there is a light source, and it looks like we're going toward the light source. So I'm going to take that to mean that we are on... We're no longer underneath the planet. We are now on the planet's surface. Unless there's some sort of an artificial light source up here, which could be... I don't know, maybe there's a, a town or something with lighting. I don't know. We'll find out, right? That's the whole point. Walk around, explore, listen to the music. There's no clouds or anything, so maybe, we, maybe we're still inside. And inside, by inside, I mean under the ground somewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's take advantage of our jump. A lot of very symmetrical looking, oh, what's that down there? Very symmetrical looking stones and unnatural looking, like somebody came through and intentionally carved all of this stuff. I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, the game was built in Unity and using standard keyboard mouse controls. Um, there is no shift to run, so I think uh, Connor's kind of controlling the pace of his game here. Whoops, that's not what I... That <laughs> so there was no benefit to me repeatedly hitting the shift key other than that's what I was talking about, so that's what my finger was doing. <laughs> so that was kind of dumb. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, standard keyboard mouse controls. There is no shift to run, obviously. Um, there is a heck of a jump, though, which I'm using. And it looks like there's some sort of a wall... sort of a wall or arena or something going on down here so we're gonna take a walk down here and see what this is all about it gets real floaty when you jump which is kind of it feels kind of good All right, so this stuff looks intentional. So somebody, these are like, I don't know, it's like trees or something. You know? No, I think it's, I still think it's a wall. We'll find out, huh? Just stop guessing, just walk and just go and see what it is. It looks like a big wall though. Wonder what that bird was all about. It symbolizes something, maybe a trapped like a bird in a cage. Are we trapped in this huge cavern or whatever? Or I suppose he says it's a a dying planet, so maybe we're maybe we're trapped in this dying planet. We're the last whatever we are. Maybe we're, maybe we're not even human. Maybe we're like a I don't know a tiger or something that can jump really high. Whatever we are, we are probably the last one because I do not, there's nothing else out here. There's just us. Oh, I thought that was a door we could go in. Alright, we're going to go around this. But again, yeah, this is all very intentional. So, there, if there's not any more, there was a civilization here at one point. Let's, uh, I feel like this is guiding us towards something. Whoop, jump. But yeah, this is definitely an old civilization. Looks like there's some uh, there's a stairway over and back in the background there. Well, I don't like that. 
so we have to jump over all of these so <laughs> whoever the civilization was that built this place they were all real good jumpers like this not sure what the significance is of that I'm, I don't need to jump so high every time I'm just gonna take it nice and easy that building right there or whatever it is looks a structure we'll call it a structure looks a lot like oh man we fell in the hole Looks a lot like the structure on the other end so again there's probably some significance there I am not smart enough smart enough to figure out what it is it looks like just kind of a mirror image of the other one Kind of cool looking, whatever it's supposed to be. Whoop, I fell down. What? Where am I? Alright, let's try to make... Didn't realize I was supposed to jump there. Yep, alright. Not sure why we need to jump, but we do. Wow, that was quite... Oh, there's more stairs over there. Let's go that way. You know, I'm... Normally I try to keep my videos relatively short. But... How about this? Let's go down and take a look, see what this is. Whoa, there's a big drop. Another one of those structures. So that's very intentional. So whoever or whatever used to live in wherever we are built that on purpose and it means something. It's important to them. <laughs> they're, not, they're not around anymore. But yeah, there's... Look at all, I mean, all these things. It's definitely a place where people or things something used to be some sort of life and they're all gone and I'm the last one left and when you think about it like that that's kind of depressing I was having fun with this game <laughs> but I haven't seen another living thing there's no not a flower not a tree even that oh wait it's the same what is going on here? This is the same exact thing we just went through, but then there's like a round thing at the end there. It's like it would... Oh, look at that. Off in the distance, it's the same thing. Does this just go all the way? Oh, and there's that uh, ring spire thing. All right, do we want to go see what that is? Or do we want to go see what that is? I, I put this to a vote. <laughs> put this to a Twitter vote, but you know what? This is recorded. It's not live. If I was uh, streaming it, that would be something we could do. But I, how about this? Let's go this direction. And don't forget to jump. We're going to see what that thing is over there if we get close. And then we'll make a sharp left turn. Come back and check out that, uh, that spire thing with the ring around it. Or you know what? Maybe, maybe I don't want to ruin the surprise. Maybe I, this is the point where I say... Uh, Go download the game from Game Jolt and play it for yourself and do your own exploration. And in fact, I think that's, uh, you know what? Nope, I'm not going to. I want to, I'm going to keep this going for a little bit. See what, oh, it's another one of those buildings up on top of a big round oh, pillar. It's not really a pillar. I don't know if you can hear that in the audio, but there's almost like a a heartbeat now. Like we're getting to something significant. And you hear the music? The music is changing too. So I feel like we're getting close to something. All right. So, oh, so it's just another one of those up high. All right. So I tell you what, I I'm sure I'm probably gonna miss something over there, but I'll come back to that one. I want to go see what that. I want to see what that is over there. So come along, won't you? I just realized while I'm sitting here playing this game, 
My dogs are outside. <laughs> it snowed a lot yesterday. Hopefully the last snowfall we'll get for the, the season of the year. One of my dogs is a husky and he just loves being outside. He eats a ton of bird seed. Does anybody else have a dog that does that? That's weird. Then he gets all mad at the birds because the birds are at the bird feeder eating the bird seed and he'll chase them away. So we got that thing right there which almost looks like a tree. A very intentionally trimmed up tree. Oh. There's a lot of bass in the piano all of a sudden. So this is probably something important. Yeah. You can hear the the piano changing. It sounds serious. And the audio is done really well. It's pretty impressive because I didn't even, you know, all of a sudden it's like it's changed. It's not like there's no noticeable seam or, you know, one stops and the other starts. It seems to, seems to blend really nicely. And I don't think that ring is supported by anything. So there's some magic in this world too. There, Something happened here. Like that should not, that should not be possible right there. I don't know how that is sitting there like that. But again, we've got another one of the long walkways with the pillars. Now we've got this guy. Nothing to say what it is. Still not haven't seen any other living creatures. I don't think we will. So I tell you what, it looks like there is just a ton of stuff to explore and find in Connor's world here. So I'm going to let you do it. I think I've I've shown you enough. Um, so again, I will have the link to this game for Game Jolt down in the description. Take some time. Um, if you haven't used the new Game Jolt client it's really nice to, uh makes installing and uh, uninstalling games really simple really easy um so go out there and, and take a look at it before you leave definitely as always i would appreciate it if you would like the video uh hit subscribe on your way out maybe leave a comment down down below and i should mention too if you're if you are a developer um and there's, if you've made a game that you'd like me to play and feature and, and make a video for, leave that down in the, in the comments as well. Let me know. Um, otherwise, you can find me over on Game Jolt as well, of course. But yeah, just leave a comment down in the in the video, and uh, and maybe I will play it and make a video for it and talk about some dumb stuff like how my dog likes to eat bird seed and all kinds of exciting things. So thanks everybody for watching. I really do appreciate you spending your time here with me. I know that your uh, your video time, your YouTube time is limited. Um, so for you to spend 20 minutes here with me as I wander around this interesting world that Connor Sherlock has built, I really do appreciate that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and keep wandering around and you should too, but take it easy and I will see you all next time.